Hey everybody, it's Steve from Open Bomb, and in this video we're going to take a look at um, Autodesk Inventor properties, specifically what they call I properties. So let's get started. I properties are associated with either assemblies or parts. I'm going to go ahead and just do a right mouse on my top level assembly here and open up the, the properties panel. This is what they call I properties. So you can see here that I've changed the author on uh, in this case to to be to be me, and. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and close that. And let's take a look also at a, at a part. I'm going to jump down here and look at this fitting. The I property setting is also where you adjust the physical properties of the part. For example, here we've got um, a material. And I can set the material here on this fitting to be brass, which I've done. Okay. So... I can create and set I properties for any part or assembly in my, uh, in my design. If I've got some properties that I want to have in all my designs, I, of course I can, um, I can modify my, <clears throat> my startup templates. There's plenty of videos from Autodesk on how to do that and include that I property um, value and definition in my templates. But for now, I've just gone ahead and created a couple of I properties in a few of the assemblies in, in here. I've also, installed uh, open bomb and I've signed in uh, I've signed in open bomb so before and how we create a bomb an open bomb with I properties before we do that we have to map those properties using the bill material setting inside of inventor and that's done right here with the bomb with the bomb button first thing we do is we want to enable bomb view so that will bring that bomb view um, uh, through to uh, to open bomb. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to add those properties that we just created or any other properties for example from our file set to this bomb view and that's done right here with this columns command. I'm going to make this a little bit larger and I'm going to scroll down here and say oh, okay great I'm going to grab my material drag that over drop that in here. I might want to include the author we know we did a little work with that I'll drop that in and I think we all, I also created or wanted to create another um, a custom I property called purchased assembly. And watch how we do that. I'm gonna, there's another button up here, add custom I property. I'm gonna go ahead and create a property here called purchased assembly. And I'm gonna set that to be yes or no. And I brought that in here. Now what this lets me do is in, in my particular case, the, the kettle here, which is an assembly, I'm gonna go ahead and set that to yes. And maybe these up here, I'm gonna set that one to no, and this one here maybe doesn't even have a value. So, so with, the, uh, with this setup here, I can define the properties that I want as I properties, set them up into my, in my bomb view here in Inventor, and save that and now go ahead and create that bomb and open bomb using the bomb button and we'll see what we get so <clears throat> so by first visiting that bomb panel in inventor we told open bomb which properties to bring over so here we go so here's our here's our bomb that we just brought over in inventor it has our purchased assembly setting you remember we set that up as false this one we set up as true we brought through some materials that we previously defined. And finally, I went ahead and set myself up as the, uh, as the author on this one. So to kind of to recap, in, uh, in Inventor, we used the right mouse eye properties on any of the items in our design. We made some changes and additions here. Second, we visited the Bill of Materials tab in Inventor. We turned on Structured View. We use the choose columns button here to add or remove properties in, in this view. And then we used the add uh, custom I properties button to create a new I property called purchased assembly. And then finally, we save that. We use the open bomb bomb button to bring all of those over as properties as part of our build material. I hope you found that useful. We always love to hear from you at support at openbomb.com. Thank you.